welcome to the show. Uh, my name is uh, Red Green, and uh, today I wanted to share a little bit of a story. Uh, we uh, recently were approached by a developer who wanted to put a, uh, a motel in uh, in our area, and uh, we said to him, "Well, uh, that, that that would be great, uh, but uh, we wanted to do something a little different." Uh, we said, "Why why not a hotel? Okay, well, this is a hotel." sort of a thing, but it's right on the edge of the lake so that people can drive their boat right up to the room. Just like a, a motel, you drive a car, here you drive a boat up uh, to, the, to the doorway of your room. And uh, the developer uh, ran away. They, they did not want anything to do with it. But uh, we, you know, me and the boys uh, decided we, we could do this. We could uh, definitely build something like this. Uh, so we decided to put on a little worker bee and get all the boys together. We uh, build the uh, motel. Now, see, uh, we put the uh, we decided, uh, you know, not just to put the the hotel uh, on the edge of the water, but uh, it might be even more efficient to put it right in the water as a uh, floating uh, flotilla, so to speak, uh, in the water. So we uh, began to build it. Uh, we built it out of, uh, we started to build a flotation area out of old tires. Uh, we'd take the old tires, we, uh, we uh, nailed them all together, uh, which was apparently our first problem, uh, putting uh, nails into tires. Um, not uh, the most effective way to keep the air into the inner tubes, but uh, we, we nonetheless we nailed them together and uh, and things looked like they were going fine. Uh, we you know a few bubbles here and there, but for the most part it seemed to be holding together fairly well. Um, I'll, I'll put the uh, flotilla of, of about uh, 780 tires uh, in the water and began to float, and uh, we were doing well. And uh, so we began to put uh, different uh, items that we were going to use to build the hotel there. Uh, we had this old barn that uh, Stinky Peterson had uh, that we'd uh, knocked down. We were using the plywood from that to build the uh, floating barge uh, motel. Uh, we began to float it, uh, put put all the uh, the sides on it there, um, and then uh, uh, we found a, a couple of TVs that uh, somebody had dumped in a, in a ditch nearby. We we put those in uh, to some of the the room areas, um, and uh, it was starting to look quite comfy. Um, but uh, then we began to realize there was a little bit of a problem with um, electricity because uh, in order for people to be able to watch their television, uh, they couldn't watch it while they were on the boat because the, the, the motel, uh, there was no power. So we, um, we uh, uh, connected to the power line, main power system, and we put a, a long string of power line cord. And we put lots of extra cord uh, so that it will, um, uh, you, you, it, we, we set up a system. Uh, with a, a car, so that as the botel is moving, um, it, it winds around the, the wire around the tire, and uh, so it, it makes the wire shorter that way, or it can extend out if we put the car in reverse, you know, and that way it's, it doesn't go in the water, and it, was, it seemed like a, it was a good system. Uh, so we had the, the system set up with the botel and the extending uh, power line, uh, moved the botel out into the middle of the lake, and, um, and it was doing great. Uh, some of the boys, we were watching uh, watching a little hockey night in Canada there, and uh, we were quite enjoying it. Uh, but uh, what we uh, what we didn't realize is that uh, the the holes of the tires were actually uh, starting to get bigger from the uh, the nails. Apparently, uh, and then uh, well, Stinky Peterson, uh, he was a little late getting there. He's a he's a bit, bit of a bigger fellow. Moose, he came out there too, and uh, the two of them uh, get, get off their uh, their boats and uh, when they got on they put a lot of extra weight on which um, I guess it, it, it compressed the air and pushed uh, pushed the air out of the tires and caused uh, things to sink uh, fairly quickly uh, so uh, you know if you imagine uh, all these uh, fellers out there we're, we're all watching on uh, hockey night and all of a sudden uh, the whole thing started to sink uh, down and when the electricity hit the water from the power pole because we were connected not just to just a basic power line. We connected right into the main uh, junction there, uh, which apparently had a lot of power to it, um, and uh, didn't have the same breaker system as uh, you know a smaller line would have. Uh, we, we figured we needed the power because it's going to be a large uh, hotel. Um, well, it electrified the entire lake, um, which uh, caused. Uh, well, most of the boys uh, got uh, third-degree burns, uh, which was unfortunate. But um, you know, one of the, uh, the the side benefits in the end uh, is that uh, once we got everybody safely back to shore, or somewhat safely, as, uh, uh, other than the burns and the electrocution, um, they uh, we found that uh, a lot of the fish had been electrocuted and had floated to the surface. 
Uh, so we've actually created a, uh, a whole side business where we're just going out and uh, skimming the fish off of the surface of the water and we've been selling those on eBay as um, as uh, electric eels, electric eels because they're, they're, they were electrified and um, apparently there's quite a uh, uh, a market for eel in uh, in China. So we've been shipping them to China uh, as electric eels and uh, it's been quite a good business. So uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, been, been how this week has been going for us. So um, if my wife is watching, uh, I'll be coming home tonight with uh, dinner and uh, we've got quite a delicacy tonight to electric eel. Um, so we'll fire up the uh, stone. And for the rest of you, uh, fellas, keep your stick on the ice.